this morning, Stephanie, the satellite and radar, where we're getting off pretty easy. There's a look at Toronto. Just south of us, though, we've been seeing scattered showers through uh, St. Catharines, some of that through the uh, Hamilton, Burlington area. Bulk of the moisture, though, is to the south and just over towards the east of us, seeing some of that rainfall this morning in through Kingston. Winds right now out of the south will move to a westerly flow into the afternoon. Temperatures mild 13. This time of year should be waking up closer to 5 or 6 degrees. It's 9 in Muskoka. We have 12 over towards Windsor this morning. 12 over into Ottawa, 9, Bancroft and Peterborough. Good morning, Peterborough. Daytime high today, 18 degrees. Lows tonight down to 4, so more seasonal this evening. Clearing skies through the afternoon. Sunshine, mainly sunny skies and a nice looking high of 18. And that sunshine and sunglasses and smiles sticks around for Wednesday. A high of 16 winds out of the east, 15 to 25 kilometers per hour. Now let's take a look at your news. Thank you, Frank. A last-minute tentative deal reached to avert a strike this morning by education support workers across the province. So it means classes are on today. Our Tammy Sutherland is standing by live now at the Sheridan with one side of the story here, and that is QP workers who are going to be happy this morning, Tim. Yeah, that's right. The union, of course, representing 55,000 support workers, education support workers here in the province, getting the deal that it sounds like they really wanted. And so joining us now is Laura Walton uh, from QP, the Ontario School Board's Council of Unions president. Uh, first off, when it comes to uh, the deal that was reached last night, do you think it could have been reached earlier, whether it was last week or, or even during the week? To avoid this. No, I don't think so. I think that uh, in negotiations, uh, all the pieces have to come together, and a lot of it is timing. Uh, and I think there needed to be a clear message uh, sent by us to the CTA and to the government that our families and our students were standing firmly behind us and that we were serious about as pushing as hard as we could. Did the province then concede and meet all of your demands and your requests when it came to the sick leave pay? Absolutely. Uh, we went in saying that there would be, and I think I spoke to you and said, we will not have any concessions on the sick leave. Uh, we were able to confirm a deal last night that has absolutely no changes to our sick leave whatsoever. Our members will be able to look after their families when they're in their time of need. So do you think then that the fact that the province, it sounds like at least last week or during earlier negotiations, there there wasn't a lot of budging when it came to the sick leave mm -hmm. pay. Do, does it sound like then that that was delayed, that it could we could have reached a deal last week if, in fact, you were able to get what you wanted then? It's hard to say because I think, uh, you know, again, I have to give a shout out to the parents and the families, uh, some of which showed up here yesterday even. Um, that's pretty monumental. And when you start to see that that level of support is firmly behind the folks that are providing the services to our children across this province I think you know that was able to turn the corner and your opinion what is what does this deal then say for the upcoming negotiations with the province and secondary school teachers do you think that they likely will get the uh, the demands and the, the requests that they're asking for in order to avert a, a, a province-wide strike I would hope so I would hope that the government and the CTA would sit down with them on face value with their proposals they do have things that are different than us because they are teachers you know we're education workers but they do represent education workers as well uh, and I would hope that they were able to lay the same path work. I know that the public will be firmly supporting uh, those folks as well and will be there to have their back as well. Okay. Thank you so much You're again. Welcome. That's Laura Walton from QP and QP is hoping to have this deal ratified sometime before the end of the month. Mel, I'll send it back to you.